Godaddy Studio is a basic photo editor offering lots of features. How does it work? This is the Godaddy Studio tutorial. So let's get started. All right, after signing up, you see this screen. We can click on this button to create a transparent project, add an image or choose a background color and create one. Let's start with a transparent project. When you create a project, you notice an option to adjust the design size. It comes with many built-in sizes for social media platforms. The editor screen has a few sections. To the left, we have the media options. We can click on any to explore. The right side shows the tools for the selected design element. As nothing is selected, we can see the canvas options. Let's add an image. Godaddy Studio supports Unsplash, so you find free to use stock photos here. You can add your own images on the top as well. Let's find an image to use in this design. This one looks promising. On the top of the image, you see a duplicate, replace, delete, move to front or back and lock options. The lock feature locks the element so you don't accidentally click on it. To the right, we have image options. Godaddy Studio supports seven free filters and comes with adjustment options, image crop, shadow, opacity, rotation, blur, tint, mask and blend features. The blur option blurs the whole image. The masking feature supports masking one element onto another and the blend feature can blend two elements. Each tool has subtools. The image corners can be used to resize the image, while the rotation button can rotate the image. You can remove the background of one design for free. Let's move to text. Tapping on the option adds the text. Once added, we see many text related options including font, font size, line height, text alignment, text curviness, color, shadow, opacity, rotation, mask and blend. The studio comes with several fonts and under each, you see many font variants. Under graphic, you see many categorized graphics elements. On the top of an element, you see free or pro. Godaddy Studio comes with hundreds of free elements. If the image is free, you can tap on it to use it in your design. Elements have the same editing options that you see while editing an image. The shapes are available in the pro plan, so we can't use any in this design. The next option is templates. We don't have many free options, but if you like one, you can tap on it to apply it to the existing design. The action deletes the existing elements. A good thing about Godaddy Studio is that you see color palettes, and clicking on each changes the design colors. Color palettes are visible when no elements are selected. You can also change the background color to customize the design. Of course, each element in this design is free and can be modified. Godaddy Studio supports adding multiple pages and the new pages have the same background color and size. We can duplicate a page or delete it from here. Now, Godaddy Studio supports layers and you can see all the layers here. Each element including images, text and shapes are stored on a separate layer. And from here, you can modify any if you like. Right clicking on one gives you duplicate, delete and layer position tools. Also to the left of this panel, you see layer edit options, which look the same as image options. At any point, you can go back to your projects or the home screen from this menu. All right, let's talk about exporting. Godaddy Studio supports only JPEG and PNG formats, and you can click on this button to open the menu. We can set the project name, choose all or the current page, and select the image format in the advanced settings. The JPEG option comes with image quality, if you want to upload media on the internet. When you click download, each design image is downloaded separately. So yeah, that's all Godaddy Studio can do. Thanks for watching and please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and like the video if it helped.